uh, thrilled to to welcome Stephen um, here for this little chat. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to ask you to introduce yourself, Stephen, to the church and and uh, how you tie in with KCAE. Thanks, Phil. Good morning. Uh, yeah, my name is Steve Gorringe. Um, I, with my wife, Kim, and our three children, uh, Caleb, Rachel, and Daniel, we live on the central coast of New South Wales, up here in um, Tugra. So we're a good few kilometres from you guys down there. And um, we attend the Salvation Army here on the Central Coast. Uh, we're members of the Salvation Army community here at a church called Long Jetty, which is actually out on the on the on the on the lake, just out of, near the coast. So we live up here. Um, I this year have been well, part of this year, obviously, have been uh, teaching uh, SRE down at uh, Kringai High School for the KCA, which stands for Kringai Christian Education Association. So. There are a bunch of churches, which are one of which is your church, um, that can that together supports me to go into the school and present SRE. So I'm actually a teacher. I'm actually a qualified teacher. I actually, I'm a music teacher, music and studies religion teacher. Um, but this has been my opportunity this year to go down, certainly terms one and two, and um, teach scripture at uh, Kringle High School. So that's a little bit about me. So um, I guess that this time's a little bit different to what you would normally be doing. How is it going during lockdown with the um, connecting with the kids and the staff at, at Karingai? Well, this is this is quite a challenge for me. Um, obviously, I've only been at the school for two months. It took me through halfway through term two to get a seat in the staff room. So, um, so it's a, a process of getting to know things. I, don't, I only just got into the groove, if you like, in term two when we've been off now for term three. So there are fairly strict uh, restrictions around me connecting kids. Uh, the Department of Education has very strong um, guidelines about teachers connecting with kids outside of the school forum. So I haven't been able to contact any of the students during during this term, this lockdown period. But, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, you know, I just want to train. I just got a train. <laughs> <laughs> the school kids are coming back in in yep. November. Yep. Um, and and I guess that means that we can be slightly hopeful for 2022. So, um, yep. you know, what's your hopes or your dreams for for your ministry uh, looking forward into 2022? I guess one of the things that I think that this time has done probably for all of us is to shake up what we think is important. So it'd be interesting to see whether. Into next year, when we have discussions about values and stuff with the kids, whether whether the, some of the questions about life and that will come out, I'm wondering whether this will have caused kids to maybe think about um, what they're doing. So I'm I'm hopeful that um, obviously I believe like all of us that God's word is go when it goes out, it doesn't return to Him without achieving its purpose. So yeah. my hope is to be able to put out, you know, and that's a challenge too. How do you connect kids with God's word that don't have a biblical literacy and that sort of thing? So that's been a challenge on its own, but. My hope is that as we can, as I continue to sow out the biblical principles and the word of God, that that will take germ, that will take root in people, you know, in kids' lives. So I am hopeful that um, this time will actually have caused maybe some of them to have even have considered their own lives and stuff. Um, and so I'm hopeful that that will be an opportunity for a discussion and for me able to present Jesus as a, as a um, as the the way, the truth, and the life, and and all He can mean for them. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, as, as a church, we've always been very supportive of the work that uh, that is happening through the KCAE. Um, and and is there a particular way that we can be praying for you or for the school at this time? Um, I've, I've said to the other churches that have asked that question, keep doing what you've been doing. So like for a lot of years now, um, your church, along with others, have been supporting the ministry. They've been giving. You've been praying. You've been promoting KCA, and I would encourage you to continue to do all those things. All those things that the things that you've done faithfully for, for many years, keep doing them. I think when the Bible says, when you're doing the right things, just continue to stand, stand firm in your faith, and so continue to do those things. On a, on a specific level, um, obviously pray for the for the staff and the and the students. It's a very unsettling time for staff as well. We don't understand some of the staff are trying to, to cope with their juggling their own family lives at home, with their own kids at home, and trying to run lessons and run zooms and all sorts of stuff. So it's a challenge for the staff as well as the students. And of course, particularly, I think probably at the moment, I'm particularly praying for the HSC students for whom two years of disrupted learning has been, you know, you know, hard for them particularly. So I guess the year 12s I'm thinking of specifically, but ongoingly, yeah, just pray that, that, that God will continue to make us keep, keep me faithful and keep me well and all those sort of things. And that God will continue to work through um, the ministry down at, uh, at Karingo. Mm. 
Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you for sharing with us today. Um, yeah, we look forward to when we can get back together in person. Uh, maybe you're inviting along so we can meet you in person one day as great. well. It'd be great. Yeah. Well, thanks very much, Stephen. Um, yeah, blessings on you and your ministry. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks. Thank you.